Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe, look towards the future. 37, it's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations. Over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there.
47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the Senate. Precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. You can't enter without being I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map, Talon. Kill him. you down if you're coming this way sir just a quick pat down sir nothing to worry about green light go ahead sir
Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Sir. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. I just want to remind you about the uh, lockdown room tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key card to activate the alarm is still in the safe and security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother I'm to shoot. <laughs> okay. Okay, but remember, you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. Good. Yeah, I will. Yeah, have a good shift tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye. Let the pros do their job. <laughs> Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a... Uh... Well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Looking good today, sir. There is something in it for you. Mr. Luck, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Looking good, man. Looking good.
This better be good. I have a reliable source that the Royal Highness Omar Al-Ghazali is keeping a secret. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Hello there, sir. Hey, how you doing? Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. If you just follow me, Mr. Kazim. How you been? His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Have you seen the view yet? It's quite spectacular. So you're On a clear day, PGs, you get a wonderful view of the Arabian Desert. It's a sight to behold the vastness of it. Back in China, this would never be possible because of all the smog. Mr. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Yo, man. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Oh, uh, sorry. We have Excuse Ingram right minute. where we want him. Yeah, just remember something. What he Please says, make yourself at you home. know what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Has Mr. Ingram left? Then please, let me show you out.
Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Sorry for this convenience, but this area is restricted to the increase and don't get sidetracked. Good one, sir. This is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. The colleague is also out there looking. This is That's disgusting. Yeah, that's uh. on the new guard assigned a code name Pinky. I got word that he entered the building. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. 
I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified, so you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Uh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant. Providence partner, okay. self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look I like have much, very high standards. but he's done more damage Trust to the you world will do your than duty. you dream. You have your credentials on you? Okay, let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Come on. Let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get to where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. But with a knife? No. <laughs> That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you're even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you are. Only time will tell. Far from home. 